I feel like I can cover it and it's like a, it feels like a draw, a draw swing or a draw shape that comes out really straight because I'm feeling like I'm exiting left and holding that face. So welcome to the channel guys. My name's Ryan Moke and today we're here at Carbrook Golf Club here in Brisbane, Australia. It's a nice gusty day, which is perfect to do a video about hitting a punch shot under the wind. So many amateur golfers that I see playing the game, when it's a windy day, they struggle like crazy. And the big reason why is they don't know how to hit that three quarter punch shot under the wind. We're gonna talk about the techniques behind this shot and what you need to do to adapt your golf swing and your ball position in order to do this. Let's get stuck in. So the three things that we're gonna talk about today, really simple. We're gonna cover ball position when trying to hit that punch shot. We're gonna talk about the swing length and what the swing looks like when we're trying to hit a punch shot. And we're gonna talk about shaft lean and the amount of loft that you're going to present to the golf ball when trying to hit those lower golf shots. So the first thing we're going to understand is loft. Now, we've got something called static loft and dynamic loft. Static loft is what is on your golf club when it's built. So basically, I've got my six iron here and it is 30 degrees. So Titleist have built this for me, the T100s, they're 30 degrees of static loft. So unless I am manipulating the golf club through my shot, this club will always have 30 degrees of loft. Now dynamic loft is when I'm going to hit a golf ball. If I was to take my setup position, get to the top of my swing and I start to come down and hit my golf ball, I have some shaft lean, which means I am, you know, I am moved forward, I've got my hands ahead of the golf ball and I'm leaning that shaft forward as we all should for a nicely struck golf shot. And what I'm going to find here is I've now got, uh, you know, let's say four degrees less loft than when it was at static loft. So now instead of my 30 degree club being 30 degrees, it's now 26. So all I've really done is I've taken loft off the golf club and that is called dynamic loft. We always wanna have some kind of shaft lean when hitting golf shots, especially for low shots. We wanna have less dynamic loft than when we are set up at static loft. The next thing we're going to talk about is ball position. So in order to deliver less loft to that golf ball, we wouldn't want the ball to be forward because what would happen there is I would set up with a little bit of uh, shaft lean away from the ball, which is adding loft. And when I go to hit the golf shot, uh, potentially it could be up in the air and that wind smashes it and it goes 20, 30, 40 short. So what we wanna do is we wanna go from our middle ball position, which is typically where we would have a mid iron and we would go slightly further back in our stance and have our hands sit where they normally do. Now, what you're gonna notice here is there's more shaft lean at address. So what I've done is I've taken loft off basically just by moving my golf ball back in my stance. Now, when I actually go ahead and hit this golf shot, if I move correctly, I'm gonna stay a little bit more centered over the golf ball. I'm still going to push forward, I'm going to turn, I'm going to deliver even less dynamic loft than what I would currently do with a stock shot. The other way to take off loft, of course, is to change club. Instead of using a six iron, I could use my five iron or my four iron in such windy conditions like we are today. But if I feel like I've got the right club in my six iron, that's how I'm going to change the loft on my golf club in order to hit that lower trajectory shot. And finally, what does the swing look like when we're hitting a punch shot? Well, we don't want to have a full movement in regards to how our follow through typically looks. I want you to go online and watch Tommy Fleetwood hit a golf shot and you'll see that he has uh, you know, a pretty complete backswing, could even be a three quarter swing, but he definitely has this what we call hold off finish position. And a player can only really get that hold off finish position is if they're using their body correctly. So if you're someone who throws the arms at it, right, you're probably not going to be able to hit an effective punch shot because basically you're taking the body out of play and you're just whipping the arms through and that's what creates the club to go too far. So what we wanna try and do is we wanna try and feel like we're using our bigger muscles in our body, swinging back maybe three quarters of the way and really feeling like we can hold this, hold this finished position here rather than behind my neck like we do with a stock shot. So lastly, just a little bit of a bonus here of how we're gonna move our body when it comes to hitting a lower trajectory shot. 
if we were to if we were to typically take our our backswing we would you know potentially move our pressure over to our right side transition into the downswing and then obviously turn around and hit the golf shot but for a lower trajectory shot the ball position is going to obviously be a fraction more back and i want you to basically feel like you're staying a lot more centered with your turn so what do i mean by centered i think of my chest and this alignment stick as one line and i'm going to feel like i turn my chest you know a little bit more centered i'm not going to be over on my right hand side too much or my trail side if you're a left-handed player so I want to feel like I'm a little bit more over the golf ball and I might feel in my feet that I've got, hey, 55% of pressure here and 45% here. I don't mind being a little bit more on that lead side because I want to still stay in front of the golf ball, turn and have less loft delivered at impact. So I'm going to have a shot for you here and I'm going to hit my stock shot to show you uh, the trace is going to be on this golf ball and you're going to see the amount of height that this ball gets uh, just on a stock shot. This is not trying to hit it low. So I'm going to go with a middle ball position. I'm going to load the right side and get behind the ball and hit my normal golf shot into this wind and see how high this golf ball goes. Now this is for me in this type of wind would be a little bit too uncontrolled. So this is typically what an amateur golfer, it's really all the shots that they have in their, in their toolbox. So let's have a go at this. So I'm gonna have normal ball position, normal, static lofted address and my dynamic loft might be somewhere like four degrees less so i'm presenting about 26 degrees of loft to this golf ball so let's go ahead and hit this golf shot really all we're looking for is the height of this golf ball uh, i'm picking this is going to be pretty high so let's have a go so you can see there that that's a really good golf shot it's come up just short of the green it's just on the green there um, so again, my six iron, this is a 165 meter hole. Uh, my six iron typically goes 165 to be fair. And that's come up a good, hmm, maybe 10 meters short. So that wind up there is knocking it about 10 to 12 meters. So what I'm going to do now is make those adjustments to hit a punch shot. I'm going to move the golf ball back in my stance a little bit. I'm going to feel like I'm more centered with my turn. So my chest is on top of that ball more. And because I've moved the golf ball back in my stance a little bit, I'm going to meet it more from the inside of the golf ball. So what that means is I am potentially in, uh, in danger of blocking this golf ball because the club moves around us in the backswing and, and in the downswing it moves back around us again. So the further back that ball is, the more I meet this ball from the inside. So I need to adjust for that. I'm gonna aim a fraction left and I'm going to feel like I cover this golf ball with my chest and my right shoulder. I wanna be able to get this golf club back in front of me and covering this golf ball. And to be fair, I play this shot a lot of times. It often comes out really, really straight. And I'm going to feel like I just take my normal backswing by staying centered over the ball. And I feel like I can cover it. And it's like a, it feels like a draw, a draw swing or a draw shape, but comes out really straight because I'm feeling like I'm exiting left and holding that face. So. Let's have a go at this. So I'm gonna place ball back in my stance and I'm gonna have that overall motion where I'm almost hitting just a three quarter golf shot. Same, same club and I'm gonna feel like I'm aiming a fraction open and I cover that golf ball and exit left. Let's give this a go. You can see there that that was a really nice low golf shot. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but oh my God, I thought I held that. It's in a little gully. You wouldn't believe it. It's in a, the flag is in a little gully and uh, it disappeared for about three seconds until it came out the other side. But I think that's, that's stumped. I think that's about two foot. Um, but you could see there that the, the flight was a lot lower. It drew a little bit, which is okay. I'm pretty used to that but I definitely felt like I was more on top of that golf ball and I felt like I covered that golf ball with, with my chest a lot more. And you could see even with the same club, okay, the same club hitting it more of a three quarter golf shot, a nice controlled motion, it went further than where my ball, uh, where that first ball went. So having the ability to hit it underneath the wind is a massive, massive benefit in the game of golf. And it's something that I think every golfer should be learning to play. 
When you're in conditions like this, it's a very tough sport when we're in this environment like this. So being able to play in these windy conditions, hit the ball low and still be in control of your golf ball is a massive advantage. So guys, if that's a shot that you struggle with, I hope this video helps you today. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If you like this video, please press the like and subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.